Names page. Now, all of these groups here are, are interest and interest groups, let's call them. So if you're interested in art, music, horses, animals, the beach, outdoors, rugby, bikes, you could join one or, or a few of these groups. Okay, if you're creating a new group, choose something that's co that's completely different. There's no point making another animal lovers group or another horses, horses group because these are groups here you can already join. Okay. Okay. So to create a group, okay, it's quite straightforward. You give it a name, you can upload a picture for it. Okay, you choose a, choose a file to upload a picture. Describe what your group's about, what sort of people would be interested in it. Um, you can choose the permissions on your group. Okay, so you can either invite people or it can be open. Um, group activity. Okay, these are the things that your group can have. Blogs, bookmark, content, calendars, files, pages. You decide what you want to have there in your group. Okay. Cool. And then you save and you have a new group. Now we know how to create a group, you need to be aware of the criteria for creating student groups. Firstly, they have to have a clear learning focus. You're designing them to educate and, and inform other people about the topics that you're interested in. Secondly, they need to be creative. Don't just copy stuff from the internet and other places. Put some original things in there, original thoughts and ideas and content. Have some discussion going and some interaction. And importantly too, collaborate with others. You're not the only expert or person interested in that topic and you can share the moderation of your group sites with others as well. So when you've got a great idea for a group site, get in touch with Rachel and we'll make sure that it gets up onto the WeLearn site.